All right, so today I'm gonna to do the tween service on parts, but I'm gonna do something other than position. So I have a video on position. I'm gonna do, today I'm gonna to do color, and I'm gonna do size. So let's add two parts. Let's go ahead and add a sphere. That'll be for color. Let's call this ball. And then we'll add a, a brick or something. Let's add a block for changing the size. Oh, I hate when I get that shadowing effect. There we go. I'll call this uh, block. All right, now I'm just gonna add this, this script right to the part. So here, add script, and I'm gonna call this change color. There we go. And let's get a reference to our ball. So I'll say local ball script parent because the script is right on the ball. So we just need the parent to get a reference to that, to that part. Do local function, change color. And I'm gonna have the item that's gonna be changed on. And I'm gonna pass in the time that it's gonna take to change, uh, to change the color. So I'm gonna call it tween time or TT time. Time is a reserved word, so you don't wanna use time. And then we'll do an R, a G, and a B for the red, green, and blue values that we're gonna tween on. So now let's go ahead and get a tween service variable. And we'll go game, get service. And let's see, tween service. We need tween info. All right, so we'll do tween info, new. Uh, first value is the time, so TT time. Second value is the easing style. So we'll do enum easing style. And that's what type of change you want. Do you want it to go linear? Do you want it to go quadratic where it speeds up or slows down exponentially with a square square of two? Um, or do you want it to go linear? Let's go linear. Linear is easy. So you can play around with those. So linear, it doesn't matter um, for easing direction. Easing direction is whether you want the effect, like a bounce to happen in the beginning or in the end. So we have three choices in, so that's in the beginning, you're gonna get the bounce or the or whichever effect. In, out is endpoints, out is at the end. So linear doesn't matter, doesn't matter what you pick for that. Uh, repeat count, how many times you want it to repeat between. Reverses, I'm just gonna say zero. We're gonna say false, oops, that's faces. False for reverses. And then our delay, I'm gonna make it a zero. Oh, let me get rid of that extra parentheses. You don't have to use two lines. I did so that I could make the text bigger. Oh, it all fit on the screen. So let's do local tween. So now we have our tween service and our tween info. Let's go ahead and create the tween with the tween service. All right, so the first value is the item. The second value is the tween info. And the third value is what you want to tween on. And we're going to do color here. So we'll say color, do a color three from RGB. I like to use zero, zero to 255 for my numbers. So we'll just do RGB. And let's go ahead and move this down so you can see it a little bit easier. And then we got to play the tween something we all forget to do is hit play and then i'm going to wait uh to before i want i don't want to leave change color until my tween is finished you may not want that i do i'll do tween time so like if you use this function to start a whole bunch of of different items doing different things you wouldn't want to wait for the tween to be finished but i'm going to wait because i'm going to do a loop so i'm going to say while true do and i'm going to do two of these calls i'm just going to loop through them so copying this change color this is my function call i'm going to put a time or an item in here it's going to be the ball the time i'll make it two seconds i'll make the red 255 here green zero and blue zero so that's going to get really red and then at the end of that I'll do another change color with ball. And then what is this time? It's two. 
uh, we're going to do 0 for red, 255 for green, and 0 for blue. All right, now we don't have to do a wait in this while loop because I have this wait right here. All right, but if you left it out, then you'll have to put a wait in here. Let's go ahead and play. Let's go play from here. There we go. So it gets really green and really red and really green. That's pretty cool. So let's do one on size for this part right here, this, uh, this block. I'm going to move it up a little bit. Let me turn my game off. And we'll go ahead and do that. And in the interest of time, I am just going to take this change color. Oh, you know what? Before I forget, let me anchor this. Anchored. There we go. Look at my change color. I want to duplicate it. Control D. I'm going to put it on my block. There we go. Now I'm going to call this change size. So it's pretty similar. In fact, you can combine um, different tweens. And I'm going to do that. I'll do that third. Let's open up change color or change size. Let's change this to size. All right. Control C to copy. Control V. Control V. Now, do we want to have these here? We don't need them here. Let's make the size. Oh, we still will need three values. So I want to change. Uh, let's see, X. Is this on the X? I want to be able to see it this way. Yeah, this is the X axis across. Let's change that size. Let's change that to uh, 10. And then Y, I'll make that 1. And then we'll make X equals 1 and Y equal 10. So we can change on two different sizes. All right, let's go here. This is the only thing we really need to change because we were tweening on color. Now we're going to tween on size. So we'll say size. It's going to be a vector 3. So vector 3 new. And this is going to be x, y, and z. Those are our axes that we're going to change our size on. So this will be x, y, and z. There we go. Oops, I hit the save. I didn't mean to do that. Let's go ahead and play from here and see how our part changes. There we go. That's kind of cool. So that's a tween on size. And we could we can combine these. I'm just going to take the color and I'm going to put it in the size. And you can even put position in too. So this is a table, so you can put many different properties. If I go to do a size also, make sure you do it inside the cur these curly brackets because this is a table of properties you're going to tween on. That's why you can do more than one. That's why you have those curly brackets. I probably should have said that earlier on. Let's do a position. No, not a position. Uh, you can do position, but I want to do uh, color. Color and size. So that is a color three from RGB. And I'll do it a R, B, G. All right. Let me go ahead and move. Oh, don't forget the comma because this is a table, so it has to be comma delimited. We need RGBs in here. I'm going to put them right here. Put them at the end. R, G, G, B. And let's go ahead and pass some colors in. R, 255, G, 0. And I'll make B, 255. There we go. We'll do the opposite for the next for the next change. So 0, 255, and 0. So now we're changing on color and we're changing on size. And let's change the time too. Let's make it faster. Let's go one second in between. Cool beans. I think we got everything right. Let's go back here. Set play. And there we go. So we changed it to yellow to blue. So that's pretty cool. You can do a lot of things with the tween service, and uh, I hope this was a little bit. Uh, this helped you out a little bit. Uh, let me know if you have any questions, and I will see you in the next video.